Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to your science class. Today, we're gonna learn a new lesson from your chapter four: materials, metals, and non-metals. This chapter is very important. You have learned about this in your lower classes. You're still learning it today, and you will still be studying when you are in class nine and ten and on. This chapter is very important, even for your metric exam. So I want you to pay attention. I'm going to give you some assignments on this. So let us learn what are the materials. You look around. There are so many materials. They are either metals or non-metals. So let us see elements. This is a substance which cannot be broken down into two or more simpler substances by chemical reaction. We have the example here, hydrogen, helium, nitrogen, carbon, zinc, oxygen, copper, gold, silver, etc. So here, what is an element? So I'm going to explain to you in our Rongmei dialect. Here, let us take an example of copper. Uh, copper, some yeah, it is a metal. Niem, can you to be called in for? It is used in electric wiring. So nung tuang electric wire kani sizin ta tanda sizin ha copper tum ya wire kani bam nuwe katong sheets kapag kani bam nuwe kadum ni bam nuwe niem copper tia loho copper tia lo rap tum gan ka simpler substances kano to be called matika in ha copper katang to di ramay kahit lo lekit na ona. Dan tiam kai di hona sun tiam kai di hona ni kum su kai di wam si na copper da kat sin ka loi za trem ge copper tan pan bab ni na nang copper tia su ka mut kai na sun tiam kai di na steel ko mai kum ge te aluminium ko mai nguon pa den trem ge copper tan pan bab ni hai te element so we so plan ni ke element na tu bui ro ka siam bo tu we te it is na da bo atoms what are the atoms these are the smallest unit of an element they are called nanyo tong slide kaniti labam hen. Kumige kandi hawa element ga ingan ra discover so hen ni. Hai kawa metals rena gaidiang pene, non metals rena katin karem wai pene. Elements ka wai nara symbol ni noi pene. Each element will have symbol. Let's see the next slide. Here, every element is represented by a symbol. And all the elements can be divided into two main groups, that is metals and non-metals. So everything that you see around you, there are either metals or non-metals. Ni materials pang hena ko kwe na noibam niya. Kawa ka zo ka na inoib ni to bitu yung kaglang panup ni karo na metals a karo na non-metals. Let's like next slide. Metals ka na yung non-metals tiki to bitu yung kaglang pan ni to bitu yung distinguish ni. Nada katung properties kanai noib nene ni. So what are those properties? Here, let's see. On the basis of their physical and chemical properties, materials or an elements can be divided into metals and non-metals. Okay, metals are lustrous or shiny, and usually hard, whereas non-metals are usually dull and soft. The physical appearance called introductory part ka ho gai na sin bine. Physical appearance so to be swata nang rin na hao na measure sunuk may hao rap to na thay nuk may pang ta physical properties. So ne, metals ka na ay non-metals na lawang kariw rap to me gan ka to be company bo. Metals rin ha katong shine, shiny so bine, lustrous so bine. Kung riki metals pa nga tanni tandiang bine na. Kader na non-metals so to be swata 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 is dulled and it is also soft. So let us see some of the pictures here, the examples of metals. You see copper wire, the first one here. And this is the iron nails, aluminum foil. This is also aluminum food wrappers. This is aluminum utensils. And next slide, we will have the examples of the non-metals. Here you see coal and sulfur. So this board, they, they are looking dulled in appearance. 
and they are also soft as compared to metals. So coal, you see, it is a type of rock that you can use as a fuel. So coal and charcoal, it is two different things. Don't get mixed up. So I hope from this you will learn how to distinguish between metals and non-metals. แต่ how metals กับ non metals ต้องเขียนตัวมีแต่ differentiate ชนุปเป็นแค่นั้นเนี่ยก็ไม่ได้เหรอ I'll give you some assignments to do here this is question answer type name some common metals that we use in our daily life that means metals บางกว่าหุ่นเขานี่แห่นั่งตรง daily life ติ่งมีปุ่มนั่งรสซิสิมตันตันไม่น้อยแค่นั้นเนี่ยนั่งนับกันกวักตุบบุนี่ตุบบุนบุนี่ Any metals, common metals, bang daily life kau sizin bang macam kazan, kasek so so plan ya. Number two, on which basis materials can be divided? So here, you see around, you look around, you see all the materials, but they are metals or non-metals. So on which basis these are divided? You have to write that down. Question number three, among the following, which are metals? So you see, there are six elements given here. From this, you have to find out which are metals and which are non-metals. Here, question number five. Observe the appearance and hardness of the materials given in the table and find out whether they are metals or non-metals. So here, this is from your textbook. It is a textual question from uh, your table 4.1, appearance and hardness of materials. So here you see object and materials are given here. And here you have to write down the appearance, whether they are shiny or dull. And then here in this box, you have to write the hardness. Like if it is metal, it will be hard. If it is non-metal, it will not be very hard. And here, please make one more column here and write whether it is metal or non-metal. So from here, the first part of metals and non-metals from your chapter 4 is over. Next video, I'll be doing on physical properties of metals and non-metals. So thank you so much for watching. Stay home, stay safe. If you understand the video, please click the like button and you can also... Comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye-bye.